tonight from Soldier Field in Chicago. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears taking on Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders. First open way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Washington Commanders and the Chicago Bears. Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. Taken in at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Commanders trot to the field for their first possession, and it's the seventh-year quarterback out of North Dakota State leading the way. His third NFL team, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz and the Washington Commanders are hoping to provide stability for each other starting in 2022. It's the third team in three years for Wentz and the fourth starter in four years for Washington. The big thing with Wentz has always been staying on the field. And last season in Indianapolis, he played a full 17 games, leading the Colts to a 9-8 record and almost into the playoffs. Wentz first play going right to the air and brought down but not before reaching the 45 yard line 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down certainly no settling into the drive there they came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. A run here for J.D. McKissick. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. To throw his wins. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. They'll run for the first time with Antonio Gibson. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Wentz. 
forced out to his left. And he finds McLaurin, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Throwing now is Wentz. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. To throw, it's Wentz. Touchdown, Washington. Curtis Samuel, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and the result, a touchdown for Washington. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And with a marker down, he's up just past the 25-yard line, but I think they're going to be going backwards. Let's check the call. It didn't take long to see our first penalty of the game, did it? We always talk about everyone wanting to get into the game in a hurry. The officials did as well. And the holding penalty sets them back inside the 20 as they get going on this drive. Fields on first down. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. First carry now for David Montgomery. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Off play action, Fields. Man open, that's Byron Pringle complete. Nine yards the pickup there, and it's a first down. 
First down for Byron Pringle, and he's a smart gamble by the Chicago Bears. They saw a guy put up 568 yards last year, and he was buried in Kansas City's depth chart. They do believe his ceiling is much higher as a full-time starter, so they brought him in on a one-year deal to see if he's a long-term answer for their team. On first down, it's Fields. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 40. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. Another completion right there, and again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket, able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells the offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. Now a first down throw, Fields. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. To throw his fields. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw, Fields. That's complete right side to commit. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So first and 10 now from the 30. Montgomery back to the ground. To about the 26 here. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll go option to the short side. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. 
yards. On third down, Herbert. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Here we go on fourth down, Fields. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bears tried it on fourth down, unable to convert. And the Commanders come through with a fourth down stand. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach... Sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. Wentz now on first down. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense. And guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you get heck of a tight end candidate. Meanwhile, Wentz's throw complete there to Thomas. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in and picks up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing his wins. Got this complete to Jahan Dotson. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report, but business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. Now, Wentz again. Steps away to his left. He completes this one to Terry McLaurin. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now Wentz. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Johnson. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They take over here following the interception. That's the good news. The tough spot is the spot that they're in. That's inside the five in the shadow of their own goalposts here. First and ten. Check 
To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. No gain on the play there. Second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here comes the Bears punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Shifts past him at the 45. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Now the commander's going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Wentz now on first down. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. Yeah, he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Oh, on second and ten, Wentz. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. In every game, we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Winston, the commander, staring down a third and long now after that sack. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And I think the ball's out. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. And that play just looked a little helter-skelter from the start. That's the risk as a quarterback. Once you take off with that football, you might fumble it, and he did. And he was going for the reward, which is gaining yardage, breaking down a defense, which you're right about the risk. Always lurking out there, someone always trying to get to the football, try to find a place to cover up and slide and protect what you've earned.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Fields. Oh, look at the juke. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. A final shot before the break. Fields. Fields hit and the ball is loose. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been a hard-fought battle to this point. 7-0 is the score, with neither offense really able to get on track. But let's not waste any time. We'll get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Bears going to see the football first, and they trail here as we get back underway to start this second half. This fielded right at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here's the Bears' offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Jamin Davis there to bring him down. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Sliding out of the pocket, throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Mark that down as a pickup of 13, and the Bears have the first. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. A play fake, now fields to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And so we're to maneuver. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 
16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Fields now to throw. Quick reaction as he catches it off the tip. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Sometimes those tip balls turn out to be like a pinball. Just bounce all over the place. Everyone's got to go up and get it. In this case... Well, we talk about tip drills for defensive players like you, but what about the offensive guys? Do they do any tip drills? I think they work on it as well, oftentimes in the Hail Mary situations because you're actually counting on a ball being tipped to give you an extra chance to catch it. They use that training well. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? Well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, it took them a little while, but they are on the board here in this third quarter and now with a chance to tie this up. And it gives them a chance to exhale just a little bit, right? Because most of the time, if your first points come in the second half, you're often hopelessly out of the game, but not in this case. Now they have something to build on and a chance to mount a comeback. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. That time, a six-play drive, and it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First possession of the second half now for Washington. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. They'll start on the ground here on first down. A nice little juke. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. The tackle by Robert Quinn. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Wins to throw on second down. 
That's Samuel caught left side and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The last run got six, now second and four. A give up the middle to Gibson. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Wentz now to throw. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. First and 10, it's Gibson. And room there to work it inside the 25. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Wentz. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. He'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. And the passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Haven't been getting much yardage out of it. And now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. And if you're thinking field goal from here, it's 48 yards. I think they'd like to get him a little help now on third down and move it closer. Here's Wentz to throw. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Jahan Dotson, 31 yards. And the Commanders answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You're talking about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? The extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes the score 14-7. to seven. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was Jahan Dotson with a touchdown catch to finish things off.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's Fields. Got an open man. It's Pringle. Only needing two yards on second down. Fields leaving it with Montgomery here on the option. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. You use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? first down fields and that going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down as his old brain remembers when i see five wide receivers on the field as a defender i know the ball's coming out hot they expected it and got there and popped it free After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Now Fields, over the middle, it's complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Here's a give to Herbert. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Here's Fields. And Fields going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, Fields. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Hey. 
So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Fields. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Second and two. Off the option, here's Montgomery. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. A well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the defense has got it in their end zone. And that strip may have just saved this ball game for them. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on. And that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And not much room there as he'll get it up only to about the 21. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Gibson again. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Now Wentz. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Jones on the return. Oh, able to avoid him. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Bears take over. So now Fields and the Bears down 14 to 7. A little under a minute to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. on fields dropping this underneath with Herbert and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight second and two Brandon's okay what they're doing right now still able to work the middle of the field but you know sooner or later they're gonna have to stop the clock fields gonna hurry his guys to the line now fields Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. All right, they picked up yardage, but they've got to get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. They've got one timeout left. Want to save it. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout 
as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Here's Fields. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Back to throw, Fields. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Back to throw. This to possibly force OT. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Bobby McCain. And the Commanders are going to hang on on the final play. They get the turnover to seal this football game. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one. But big plays just didn't go their way, especially late. And they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened. It knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Chicago.